right, it's been a while. My name's Mark, welcome back to the shop. And we're back at the board. And this is a video that I was asked to do. I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> this is a video I was asked to do quite a while back. Um, I say a while back, it was a couple of months ago. And I said I will get round to it when I get some stuff sorted. Any road. So, um, this came about because a guy messaged me and he basically said, I've seen this article from Moto Academy or whatever, the Moto something. And it was basically just a Facebook page post thing, sponsored, blah, 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 blah. And he was talking about Jason from Engineering Explains video about uh, 5252. So you'll have, you know, your power do something like that. And then you'll have a torque do something like that, right? On a dyno graph kind of thing. And when you come down like this, this number along this number line here on your RPM is 5252, five, right? And it's like, why is it this number? So that's what Jason did the video about. And the guy said to me, I've watched, I've read the article several times. I have um, watched Jason's video, read the article, watched Jason's video, gone to other sources, went to Wikipedia, blah, blah, blah and can't work out why it is what it is. Right. So. I'll get a better rubber, all that rubbish, all that jazz. So, <laughs> uh, power, right, I'll make this as simple as possible. Right, power is your force, right, don't need to know what. It's your force times your velocity, right? So how fast you're clapping on. And that is your distance. Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. That is your distance over time, right? That is it. And you can all understand this concept, right? This here, that's six o'clock. Right, that's what that is. Distance, that's to the pub. That's to the pub, right? That's the distance and the time. So in other words, how long did it take you to get to the pub? From six to seven o'clock. Just say it's a long bloody mile and I'm going off the board, but fuck it, you get what I mean. Right, and the force is to cover this distance, to get from the pub to, you know, in a certain amount of time, you need some push, right? So this is the push, this is the force. It is that simple. That's it, hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a way, 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 way. <laughs> That's just that, right? So when, oh, for fuck's sake, I need a board. This isn't, this is actually the white, uh, whiteboard thingy. I know, I know, I know. Talk about getting fucking organized. Any road, so. When he starts writing down stuff like torque times two pi times RPM over 33,000 uh, foot pounds, right? And he should have put per minute, right? Just to be anal about it. When he puts all this, we've got Let's replace that word. Fucking, do you know what? I'm gonna get annoyed with this. <laughs> Cause it's not really, the whole point is it's meant to be clear. Right, so we have, can't I just put a flat end on this? There we go. So this is our push. There we go, that's better. This is our push, right? That's what that is. This here, this two pi, we'll leave that for a minute. This RPM bit, right, is a tiny bit funny because it's revs per minute. So what we can do is we can say this is our distance, distance over time, right? That's our distance over time. So that's to the pub. Fucking, these chalks, you know what, these chalks are shite. I dropped a, a bag that came with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, and I've just dropped them all over the floor. 
I think these are softer. I think I need softer chalks for this board. So this is, um, this is, oh, fuck yeah, that, yeah, I need but soft ones. To the pub, right? And this is the one hour, right? Fantastic, right? That's our distance over time. To a degree, there's one thing that's missing out of this, and that's the fact that our distance for our RPM isn't a distance from here to the pub. It's from here to the pub as if you're a, a point, a bit of tread on the tyre going around and around and around and around. And that's where this bit comes in. So this distance bit to the pub. I wish I had a fucking rubber. I had a rubber. And I've just lost that one. <laughs> Great. To the pub in one hour, right? But the thing is, we're missing part of our thing because this, this to the pub would be a linear distance from here to there. We're looking at, we've been fed our RPM, which is a rotational thing. And that's where this two pi R thing comes in. Two pi, sorry, not two pi R. So two pi is, you get the two pi and the diameter of your circle, right? So your, um, well, it's just simple as that, actually two pi. And our feet, come from here, right? Or our feet come from this side because this is uh, foot pounds. So this is where it gets a bit confusing because our foot pounds, our distance is in the torque bit, in the push. And our rate at which we turn is our RPMs per minute. So there's our time section. So this is why it gets a bit funky. But basically, where does 5252 five, two come from? It's just this. Right, because what do we, where's that bloody rubber gone? What do we want? We want a formula to put in, because when you go right back to the beginning, we've got a graph like this with RPM, right? And we've got torque, and we can measure power off that, right? So we've got this line like this. So that's the original line, because in our calculations, that's what it is. So because we've got torque and because we've got RPM, we want a formula where we just put torque in and we just put RPM in. That's what we want, right? So what we do is we've got our torque or our push to the pub times our RPM, like that, right? And if you just get, you get a calculator, you, get, you put two times pi in, right? You get six point, oh, fucking hell. 6.8 something. I just want to show you that that's how you do it. You get your uh, not fucking uh, 3.142 times 2, right? 6.284, sorry. 6.284, right? Now, all we've got here is torque and RPM. What we want to spit out is horsepower, the imperial horsepower unit, and that's 33, what is one horsepower? It is 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, right? That's what everyone, and a lot of people forget to write this bit, the minute bit, because the minute's really important because this is what a horsepower is, and power is push over time, right? Push over distance over time. So you've got push, how much distance, which is in feet, uh, pounds of force, and it's pounds force, which is your push and your time. You have to have that, right? So what you do is if you just divide this by this, so let's just do that, 33,000, and you divide that by 6.284, and you get 5251.4, blah, 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 blah. That's because this number I use 3.142 and not all of pi. Actually, I should be able to do it with the didgeridoo water. So two times, where is it? Pi. Yeah, so this number would be three, it'd be three, eight, what, uh, three, one, eight, five, three, or blah, blah, and that changes this number to five, two, five, two. And actually you round this up, right? So you round that up because you just want a whole number because it's easier. So basically, where does five, two, five, two come from? 
it comes from the fact that RPM is a weird digit, right? Uh, not a weird digit. RPM is a weird quantity. Torque, force in a line, great. But in that, there is um, your, you know, your force applied around a distance, right? That gives you, you see, that's important because what that gives you, that doesn't give you linear distance. What that gives you is how big is this circle? You know what I mean? Because we're doing RPM, but how big is that circle? How big is that tire? How big is that wheel? You know what I mean? So we need to scale them together. So once you've scaled them together, you've got revolutions, how many times it goes round in what time. And as soon as you work all that out, because these two are skit that are equivalent in a sense, the distance from the circle and the RPM and how that's rated to one to the other, what you end up with is you don't need to basically start measuring wheels and stuff like that. But where does this come from? 5252 five, two just comes from 2 times pi, which gives you 6.2831, blah, 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 and you divide that by a top. So what this is, right, what this is, this 2 pi r thing, is a conversion factor. So to convert your numbers of torque and RPM into something that can be converted into horsepower, right? That's what it is. Because horsepower isn't one uh, foot pound of force times RPM, right? It's not. If it was one, then we wouldn't need that number at all. So what happens here is as you start going up, you reach a point where your torque, oh, fucking forget that one. Yeah. Soft chalk, man, soft chalk. Torque times your RPM divided by 5252252, like that. When this here equals 5252, right? When those two, oh God, you can hardly see that. Bloody hell, this is a disaster. We're having technical difficulties. <laughs> Looks sick. Out of practice, really out of practice. And this is the first time I've been back on this board in a long time. This is a new covering and blah, blah, all the excuses under the sun. Get it right, Matt. Um, you've got 5252. These just, 52 divided by 52 is 1. So basically, it's torque times 1 is your power. So basically, torque at that point equals power. And it does. When you get to that point, when you get to 5252 on your graph, it equals it. And then Jason said in his video, what does this mean? It means absolutely fucking nothing. Uh, yes, the number 5252 isn't a magic number or anything shit like that. It is just for the units we've arbitrarily chosen at some point. Is it important that you understand where these things come from? If you're interested in this stuff, yeah, it is important. But the number itself, you know, you go to kilowatts straight away and you get 9,000 fucking whatever. There's all, and if you wanted to convert this into oh, inch pounds, what would that be? I think it's 63,000 or something mad. It'd be just divided by, it'd be this times by 12, wouldn't it? Because it's foot, inches there. But yeah, you see what I mean? So, I hope I hope that makes sense because things are falling apart. Um, so the guy who was asking the question, I think your name was something like Mexican Sam or something like that. When you ask the question, I haven't forgotten. There's just a massive list and I've got shit loads to do. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit. Ah, that was a disaster. Fucking chalk disaster. Fuck's sake, I've just dropped loads of this soft chalk on the fucking floor. Uh.